everybody, welcome to this special screening of Big River Man. Could I please introduce the marathon swimmer? This is Martin Strell and his son, Borut. Hello. Hello. <laughs> when you watch your documentary, how does it make you feel now? Uh, for me, it's very emotional because I was told everywhere, Martin, don't do, don't do this, you will die. Borut, they did say, they were quite serious, they said your dad could die on this. Absolutely, that's why I decided to be part of the story, you know, from day one, when he came back home and said, I'm going to do this. I wanted to be there in case something happened. It's absolutely inspiring. Please enjoy the film and we'll talk to you in the Q&A afterwards. Thanks very much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Quadruple world record holder Martin Strell isn't your average marathon swimmer. The Slovenian's 31-year career has led him on a conquest of the planet's most perilous rivers, including the Danube, the Mississippi and the Yangtze. Martin swam alone on one of the most polluted and dangerous rivers in the world. On a winning formula of grit, determination and supposedly Slovenian wine. Even while he's swimming, he drinks two bottles of wine a day. Big River Man, directed by John Maranguin and narrated by Martin's son Borut, follows the 53-year-old's most testing challenge yet. The mighty Amazon River, over 3,000 miles long. Strell is given a hero's welcome by locals, but the film never quite makes it clear whether he's doing it to save the world, fight personal demons, break a record, or reach a higher plane of consciousness. Now I cross your fourth dimension. But with his health declining, but Martin's blood pressure was already dangerously high. And medical advice cast aside. Probably should be evaluated in the hospital and not swim in the Amazon. Martin's 66-day quest takes everyone involved to the edge of sanity. These are the last five minutes to midnight, and we got one superhero left to save us all. Bring us on down into eternity. For this first sort of, I think, maybe, say, 15 minutes, you are narrating the film, to which you characterize your dad as an alcoholic, as a drink driver, I can start that topic because I found filmmakers and I trusted them in the beginning. I just wanted to document that incredible feat. But then as soon as we started working, they wanted to dig deep into Martin's character. Many Slovenians are drunk and drivers, and my father Martin is one of them. But he does. So at that time I realized this is becoming more their story, not our story. I didn't yeah. know what is going to come out until I, we got to the Sundance Film Festival. <gasps> That was the first time you that saw the film? That was the first time we saw the film. Yes, the first time. <laughs> and it was a little surprise for me, too. <laughs> he has uh, really good connections with the policemen. They stop you. Hey, Martin, you are drunk. OK, just come safe in the home. We will not give you a ticket. You are very famous people. Do you recognize yourself? Is that Martin Strell? <sighs> it's a film. It's a film. I'm a little different. Yeah. yeah. You have maybe some whiskey? Whiskey? Whiskey. The doctor said you should drink more fluid because you're dehydrated. I use whiskey to wash my face, to wash my uh, mouth, throat, because uh, if you spend so many hours in the water, it's uh, it's problem for my throat. Yeah, this is for doctor, not for me. Mm. Even at the early stages of the swim, you were hitting psychological and obviously emotional barriers. Was there any time when you said, right, that's it? It's first two days was for me the hardest in my life. The Amazon uh, could destroy your mind. This is very big psychological problem. How to stay healthy for almost three months and how to spend so many hours in the water. Because Sick. every stroke in the Amazon could be the last. Crocodile, anacondas. Thousands and thousands of piranhas around here. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is that? That was from the Amazon? Sure. Every year, it's good to stay in the jungle two, three weeks. The big difference for all the people. Martin, why do you think you're still alive? I think uh, animals has accepted me. Crocodile, snakes, bull sharks, but didn't attack me. You have to talk with nature, you have to talk with animals. 
after sunset, you have to talk with sun, with everything what is around you. I think it's not so dangerous. It's dangerous in the banks, it's dangerous, yeah, but in the water, no. Boric, what's yes. your theory? Um, we already found out years ago that he is not just a swimmer. He put his mind to a way that he forgets where he is right now. You, you see in the film uh, the fourth dimensional state. We wanted to show that he is many times not aware where he is. He sleeps while he's swimming. Describe the last day. Oof. <laughs> Captain was very afraid about waves because these waves could destroy boat. And what happened? Water stopped. It was flat water. Martin got to within three miles of the finish line, which was still water, just like a lake. I could change the weather. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. You're laughing, it, it, looks, you're serious, it looks a little funny. But with me, it's possible. There was media from 20 countries waiting for us at the finish line, and I felt like I should write a statement for him to read to the world. What is it like when you finish something like that? I was very tired this time. Yeah. The last stroke, I could drown. This moment <laughs> was for American filmmakers one of the most exciting moments. Maybe could die, no, maybe should. No, now is the, the right moment. <laughs> yes, 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 that's for us. <laughs> it didn't happen. I'm, I'm here. In my head, I didn't see any people around me. No. Just this sound, like a music. That was a uh, very emotional moment for me. the scenes in the hotel room after you had finished swimming and you had several people coming to visit you to try and shake you out of your like fourth Mu dimensional music. state. <laughs> I just wondered how did you cope, you know, immediately afterwards? It was like a dream for me. Music around me, what's going here? I was like half, half. These days were very special for me. If we were to rewind, would you do this again? <sighs> oh, this is very difficult for me, believe me. Yeah. It's, I could say no. How did this change your life? This uh, swim changed my mind a lot because now I know how important this part of the world is. We have to explain people because most of them, they don't understand how important this rainforest. There is possible to see 220,000 different plants. I didn't know. It's possible to find all the cures for many dangerous diseases today. At the end of the film, you finally get to read out the letter. My name is Martin. You can see I'm not Lance Armstrong. I'm a little fat and a little old. I like to drink a little. I'm a simple man. The one thing that I took from that is that you, Martin Strell, are not a simple man at all. A little fat, maybe. <laughs> maybe a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for You're bringing welcome. your inspirational story. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You very Thank you very Martin much. Martin Strell. For having us Any here. Any time. All right. You turn kings into beggars. Beggars into kings. Well, that's it for this Fabulous Picture Show. Well, I was inspired. What is your final message to everybody out there? Follow your dreams even if they are your parents, and try to achieve their dreams. <laughs> Help them. Yes. And you? That's, you, Borat is right. <laughs> Next For challenge, me. how one woman 
can achieve her dreams. <laughs> Big River Woman. Exactly. What do you think? That would be great. Big River Woman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And thanks for joining us on the Fabulous Pitch Show. And thank you also. And see you You're next welcome. time. Bye-bye. Martin had become so insane by this point in the swim that we didn't even look on him as a person anymore. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this film and why? I think I'd actually give the story 10 out of 10, but the film 6 out of 10. Um, I don't feel the film actually represented their amazing story as well as it could have done. I thought he was a fascinating guy and totally inspirational, really, because he was so focused on his job that he actually didn't even notice what was happening around him. Swimming is his way of doing it, but it's the message is that we need to try and do something about the damage we're doing to the planet.